Hey, we elect a president once every four years. So when that year rolls around, why the rush to by January or February declare nominees, declare winners, or at least odds on favorites? So South Carolina has its say this weekend, as you're watching. Then a delegate explosion takes place on Tuesday. Ohio then weighs in two weeks from that date. While some pundits now question the veracity of this statement, I'm telling you, the road to the White House still runs through Ohio. I'm joined by the outgoing chair of the Lucas County Democratic Party, you know, Kurt Young, to examine how the race shapes up here. You hear all the national stuff on the networks. Who is most likely to win Lucas County and most likely to carry Ohio? On the Democratic side. Oh, now you're going to make me do what I, my job and say the Democratic nominee is who's going to carry Lucas County. Okay, from this list of Democratic <laughs> candidates, I'll restate the question. Who's most likely in your mind? You know this community, you know this county, to carry Lucas County. Let's start there. Well, I'd say where the field is right now, I yeah. think you've got three people who've got a decent shot at it. I think Bernie's got momentum right now, and we'll go back to that race analogy of yours in a minute. I think that, um, again, I think Elizabeth Warren's going to surprise some people, and Vice President Biden, if things went well last night in North or South Carolina, yeah. I think is going to have a chance. If things didn't go well in South Carolina, well, not so much. Okay. Um, is our primary system broken? I mean, can it be fixed? Or would it all be fine if just more voters took part? I mean, we get the extremes of the parties in this primary system. We do, and that's one of our problems is that we've turned off folks who aren't the extremes of the two parties, yeah. and we've got to do something about that. And we're trying to do something about that. But again, the analogy I've talked to you about before, yeah. right now in the marathon that is the nomination process, we're at the half mile mark of a 26.2 mile race. He said half mile of 26. And I said off the top, we do have this, and I think the media is part of this. Yeah. Who won Iowa? Who won New Hampshire? Are they going all the way? It's like, well, we're just getting started. Last I checked, there are 50 states out there. 1.7% of the delegates he needs are where Bernie's at right now, and some folks in the media are falling all over as he's got this locked up. Yeah. yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. Bernie's running the race he wants to run. He's at the half-mile mark at his pace, and he's ahead of the pack, and he's got the bib on. He likes to wear this lucky bib. So I wouldn't bet against him, but this is far from over. Can Bernie Sanders beat Donald Trump? Polling data says yes, although you and I have talked about it before. Polling data and conventional wisdom when it comes to Donald Trump aren't the uh, things you can rely he, he on. De he defies it with, uh, with regularity. I, I, you know, my undergrad degree is campaign and interest group management. I've been looking at polling data since I was a 19-year-old, and none of it told us that he no. could do what he did. No, you're right. You're so right. I'm not going to say there's no way that Donald can't pull this off. Stock market's not doing too well right now as of the last time you and I get to look at it, yeah, everything been, else, and that's his selling point. So it's going to depend on if we do the consistent message of what we're, our candidate's going to offer, and that's going to be up to them once they're the nominee. Donald Trump has certainly made inroads in traditional Democratic areas, including Lucas County. Hillary Clinton carried something of like 55% in Lucas mm -hmm. County. That's not a good number. That's a bad <laughs> number for Dems. Your candidate needs to carry 63, 64, 65% or mm -hmm. more to win statewide. What is it about Mr. Trump that does resonate with some traditional Democrats? He and how do you counter it? Well, he does what we do with Sherrod Brown. He talks to working people. He talks about helping out their pocketbook, helping out their family, and not getting off on some of these things that we get tarred with as the Democratic Party, identity politics, that kind of thing. He talks about people's pocketbooks. So that's why he won the state by nearly 10%, and that's why Sherrod Brown wins the state by almost 10%. So. You have chosen to step down as chair of the Lucas County Democrats. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, and, and I talked to you a little bit about this off air. Uh, my father was my role model. And when. A military guy. Uh, career Navy, was a Libby grad, was supposed to go play mi football for Michigan, broke his arm in a senior year, couldn't pass the physical for his Michigan scholarship. So he went in the Navy instead, served 20 plus years. Was offered senior chief of the Navy, E9, highest rank you can get. But he would have had to move me in the middle of high school. He had moved me three times, including to Toledo, for a few months in the middle of kindergarten, and he said, no, thank you. Family comes first. And he said, no, thank you, to a job, which would be this pinnacle position. For his career. It would have absolutely made his retirement better and everything else. Um, family comes first. I've got a mother who's 76 and is in the first level of palliative care with uh, the folks from hospice in Northwest Ohio. Okay. Mother-in-law is 89 and ailing a little bit. Son's gone through four and a half years with an autoimmune disease and is just starting at UT, just getting his feet back under him from seven level back surgery and that. They need me more than the Lucas County Democratic Party needs me right now. So I'm gonna take a little break and take care of them for a few years and then if people need me back, I'll be around. Good, I, I, I respect so much 
uh, on what you are basing your decision. You got, you got your priorities figured out, and not everybody does in your field, in that field of politics, as you know. And I'm also glad that you're very open to that when these things are addressed, you're back in the game. My dad taught me service, and that's what I'm here about. I'm not here about Kurt Young. I'm here about We Serve. So. Hey. On a side note, does the party have a game plan to get people to write in Paula Hicks Hudson's name? <laughs> Do, don't she, doesn't she have to be a write-in in the primary? She has to be a write-in in the primary. Paula, who was the director of the Lucas County Board of Elections many years ago, when she handed in her petitions, you have to have one original signature in your statement of candidacy. She forgot to turn in that page. She had many pages. She was over the signature limit. She forgot that. She realized. Well, there are other are there other Democratic candidates? No. So if if she's got to write it fifty. No, it's got to be fifty. Got to get fifty zero. people. Yeah. So, but right. you know, she's got, she's got one already for me. So <laughs> she, I've already voted at the other vote center. And I'm so. guessing she counted. That's two if she counts herself. And, and, and my daughter and my wife, I'm sure, are going to go take All care right, of that so too. She's steamrolling it now. <laughs> All right. My thanks to Kurt Young, always uh, Democratic chair. You're going to still be for a while. A yeah. couple more months, we've got to certify the primary and then pick my successor, and there's several good folks. I'm not going to say their name on here. I'll make you find that out. Yeah, so. You knew I'd ask you about <laughs> it, but I, I want to thank you for keeping us on the leading edge of the 2020 presidential race, especially from our, I maintain, still very important local. You can't win Ohio without winning Lucas County. You can't win the state, no, the country without Ohio. There you go. Can't, you can't say it better than that. When I come back, getting tough on cleaning up Lake Erie, or... Who woke up the state EPA? This is Leading Edge. <laughs>